Every Maui project has a lot of files, some of which are hidden from us or not included in the Solution Explorer. I'm going to open up this image demo folder that I currently have open. Just look at the contents of the folder. We have our image demo.solution file, and then we have our main subfolder. And inside that subfolder, there is a CS project file, image demo.csproj. And uh, you can also see files that may be hidden by checking this hidden items. But that file, whether it's hidden or not, does not show up in the Solution Explorer in Visual Studio 2022 on the Windows side. And it's even a little more buried on the Mac side. I'll show you how to get there in a minute. So to get to that file, you can double click on your, on your project name on, inside the Solution Explorer. And there then is that CS project file. Now you want to be careful about coming in and changing things here because this can really mess up your program. But I want to point out, this is one of the files that's, that's created in the background and is modified in the background as you make changes to say some of your resources. But we're going to be talking about how to change the icon and how to change the splash screen. I want to show you that in this file, there is a line here for basically setting up the Maui icon and there's also one here for setting up the splash screen. And sometimes we do need to make changes to this to make it work. So I just want you to be aware of that that's how you get to this file on the Windows side. Now let's take a look at the Mac side. In Visual Studio for the Mac, I created a new .NET MAUI project. So everything will look familiar here. This is the simple uh, Hello World template. I'm going to come up to the top of my project and do a control click and I'm going to come down to display options and say show all files and when I do that I see some files are kind of grayed out these are the hidden files and one of those here is app icon SVG that was the name of my project We're, I'm going to start with showing you SVG files in terms of changing the app icon and the splash screen and then we'll look at how to do it with some PNG files in the next video so I have this CS project file that's, that is hidden from view normally, but now I can open it up and that'll look familiar what we had on the Windows side. Again, you're gonna find some things here in terms of the Maui icon and in terms of the splash screen. And we may come in and make some changes to those. For now, I'm gonna run my project on an iPhone emulator. And this is just the project out of the box using the Hello World template and there's my project. I'm going to stop it and let's take a look at the emulator here. Here's my project, app icon SVG, and it's got the .NET icon. This is the default icon, just saying .NET on a purple background. Uh, in the next, the next project I work on is the TV Western, so I created an icon for that and then changed the icon. You see it shows up here in my emulator. So we're going to look at how to change this to something that's a, a little more interesting and less generic. In our resources folder, we have an app icon folder, and it contains two files, two SVG files, app icon and app icon SVG. Now, since these are SVG files, I'm going to open these with Adobe Illustrator. So let's take a look at the app icon. So in Adobe Illustrator, I see the file, and we can look at the layers and see that the layer contains basically one path, and that is a rectangle that is this purplish color. That's our icon. That seems a little strange to me. Well, we need to realize that Maui icons are built in layers. And there are two essential layers. One is the app icon, which is really just the background color. And then we had another file called app icon fig. And I'm gonna open that one up also in Adobe Illustrator. Now that looks even more cryptic because it's just a white box. Well, really it's not. As I, as I point my mouse over this, you'll see there's the N, there's the N, there's the T, there's the little dot. If we look at the layers, it's comprised of four layers and they're presented here on a white artboard. If we were to add a new layer, I'm just gonna drag this layer to the bottom. I could take the rectangle tool and create a rectangle encompassing that layer and go to the properties and let's change the fill color to more of a gray so we can see what's on that background. 
So we have white lettering on really a white artboard, which really is transparent when we bring it in. So that dot net is appearing as a layer on top of the I of the app icon purple layer that we had. We can also add a background color behind that because iOS does not allow anything to be transparent as far as icons. So if you happen to have something something transparent in that app icon, we can add a color behind that that would fill in those gaps. We can also add a color on top of this to tint everything. So that's all done in that CS project file. And in, in the case of this template, they did not do that. They did not add a tint. That'd be example, that'd be the advantage of having something white here if you wanted to tint it. Those are our app icon files. And SVG, since they're vectored, scale very, very well. And it's recommended that you use SVG files for your app icons and for your splash screen. Now the splash screen file is splash.svg. And in the temp file, the splash.svg file is the same as the app iconfig svg. And they set the background color in the code of the CS project file. So if we look at the size, we can see in the information these are 456 by 456 in size. So if we wanted to change the background color, we could do that here. And what I'm going to do is go into the layers. I'm going to select the path with the selection tool. I'm going to go into the properties and I see the fill as being this purple, but I can click on that and I could change that. Maybe I want it to be red. So I'm going to just accept that and I'm going to go ahead and close that icon, that file. And I'm going to say yes, I want to save my changes. Then we'll go back to Visual Studio. Let's run this again. Well, before I do that, maybe we change your icons, your splash screens, or adding new files in. You always want to clean your project. And then I would su suggest also rebuilding it. That clean allows the new files to be added into our CS project file. And now if we try to run this, so let's take a look at the icon that comes up. And again, I'm going to stop my project. Now it still has the purple here. One thing we should probably do is delete that file um, from our emulator. And on the Mac, you can hold the mouse button down and you'll get this remove app. On the Android emulator, you can drag the file and you'll get an uninstall button at the top that you can drag it to and delete it. Okay, let's try running this again now that we've gotten rid of that and see if the icon changes. And you'll notice now we get the kind of reddish color for our icon. And there's our project running. I'm going to stop the project. And we're going to modify the icon, the, the top layer, our foreground layer, which is the app icon fig file. And we're going to add a icon of for an island. Since it's a .NET MAUI file, let's add an I, uh, island icon. I want a palm tree and then maybe a sun setting. So we're going to go find a palm tree. I would mentioned previously that publicdomainvectors.org was a great source for SVG or vector graphics. And there's another one I also want to point out to you, and that is svgrepo.com. So I want to do an icon that has a palm tree. And so in SVG repo, I'm just going to search for palm tree. Let's see what we get. So a bunch of different choices there. I kind of like this one here. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to say download the SVG vector. We're going to use this palm tree in modifying our app icon as well as our splash screen. In Illustrator, I have the app iconfig file and the palm tree that I downloaded open. So I'm going to go to the palm tree and notice it's comprised of a bunch of layers that make up that palm tree. I'm simply going to take the, the selection tool and just drag a box around all of it. So that's, that will select the entire palm tree. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to my app icon file and let's just create a new layer. And I'm going to paste the palm tree in that layer and I want to resize it. Uh, 
I think it's about where I want it. I'm going to get rid of that .NET path. I can just delete that whole layer. And now I'm going to add another layer. In fact, I'm going to delete the gray layer that we had as well. Don't really need that. So I'm going to add another layer. This one's going to go behind the palm tree. I'm going to take the rectangle tool. I'm going to create a rectangle behind the tree. And we'll go to the properties. Go to fill. I'm going to make this an RGB. And we'll make that kind of a sand color. Then I'm going to do another rectangle. And this one we will make more of a blue for our ocean. Go back to layers. I'm going to add another layer. Put this one behind the sand in the ocean. And I'm going to deselect the sand. Go to the ellipse tool. Make sure I'm on layer four. And here I'm going to add in a circle. It's going to go behind the sea in the sand, but I want to make this one yellow. This will be our sun. So there's my icon. I'm going to close it to save it. And I'm going to bring back that app icon SVG, our, our base layer of the color. Because rather than red, I'd like to make this more of an orange for our sunset. Now I want to remember what this color is. So I'm just going to change this a little bit. Let's do DD7733. Or maybe 22. DD7722, it's easy to remember. That's going to be my orange shade. I'm going to save my icon. And let's go back to Visual Studio. So I want to go to that CS project file. I'm going to change the color for the icon to be DD7722. The files are still the same. I'm going to do the same thing here for the splash screen. And we're going to change the splash file as well. So let's go to our splash. I'm going to open that with Illustrator. I'm going to go back and open I'm going to go back and open the app icon fig file because what I want to do is I basically want to get all of our information here for the icon. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to the splash file. Let's open that up. Let's get rid of the .NET. And then I'm going to paste in the information from the app icon fig file. I'm going to save my splash file. Close these other files. Let's go back into Visual Studio. And now I'm going to clean my app. And let's run it on the iPhone. And actually, I should have gotten rid of the project before. So I'm going to stop. Let's go back to the emulator. Let's get rid of this project. And now let's try running it again from Visual Studio. So if you saw the icon there, now, one thing I have found with the iOS emulator is when you mess with the splash screen, sometimes it doesn't work. 
It works much better on the Android side, and that's definitely true when you bring in a PNG for the splash. Um, I've read in some of the forums that other people can't get it to work either. Um, I was hoping with changing the splash screen that it would. I've done some experiments on another computer, and it did work, even with another SVG file. It didn't seem to work in this one. But let's, let's end our file. Let's go back and look at that icon. And you can see we have our island with the sand and the sea and the sun and our orange background color. Let's run this on an, the Android emulator. So I've got a Samsung S20 emulator. Now a couple errors that frequently come up with the Android emulator for me is I have to make sure I go in and set the target for the API and then sometimes deleting the reference in the manifest file for the icon and then adding it back in can also make a difference. Let's see what happens here as far as building. So far so good. Here's my emulator. There's our splash screen. Notice it does a, a circular cutout around icon. That works. I'm going to end my application. And here is our icon for the app icon SVG. It's a little bit big in this case, um, but it is our icon. And so we could do some things as far as scaling um, within the app icon. So I could add a scale equals, let's say 0 0.75. That needs to be in quotes. And so once again, I'm going to delete my file, dragging it to uninstall on the Android emulator. Say OK, and let's run this again. There's our splash screen. I'm going to stop running. And if we go back and look at our emulator, it really didn't do anything as far as our icon. What we could do is go back into the icon and make that palm tree and the sea and sand a little bit smaller so we get more of the orange behind it. But that's how we can change the app icon and the splash screen for a .NET MAUI project using the existing SVG files and just changing them. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the .NET MAUI practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.